handcuffed and dressed in a prison jumpsuit, Hadi Matar stood silently, his head bowed. His lawyer entered a not guilty plea on his behalf. He's charged with the attempted murder of Sir Salman Rushdie. The suspect was tackled to the ground at the front of the stage, the injured author receiving first aid a few feet behind, members of the audience willing him to survive. Bravo, Rusty! Bravo! The 24-year-old accused, who will appear in court again next week, was born in California but recently moved to Fairview, New Jersey. I would never even consider someone like, like that living in this neighbourhood. You know, it's unbelievable. I thought that maybe somebody got shot. I'm hearing all these helicopters. I didn't know what happened. I lived right around the corner. Terrible, terrible. The author, who's 75, was airlifted from the scene to a hospital in Pennsylvania. He had sustained approximately 12 stab wounds, puncturing his eye and liver and causing serious injury to his neck, chest and abdomen. While Sir Salman Rushdie receives medical attention here, the investigation is spanning several states as law enforcement agencies combine their efforts to establish the motive for this attack and if there are grounds for further charges. Salman Rushdie has lived under threat since the publication of his novel The Satanic Verses in 1988. Some Muslims deemed his depiction of the Prophet Muhammad blasphemous. Iran's leader Ayatollah Khomeini imposed a death sentence on the streets of Tehran, they've been responding to the attack. I heard the news on the TV and I was so glad because of the insults Salman Rushdie had made against our prophet and the fatwa issued against him finally worked. They should know that sooner or later, the right will always overcome. God willing, he pays for what he did. World leaders have condemned the stabbing. Salman Rushdie has spent his life defending free speech. He's now engaged in a very different battle. David Blevins, Sky News, in Erie, Pennsylvania.